here just along for a site visit today. Do I get to help pick paint samples? Kind of. Colors? Probably. Samples, you can colors. have input. Okay. <laughs> Man, I should have worn my sunglasses. Okay, so this is our spec home exterior. Okay. What do you think? I love it. All the views are out of the back of the home, so you drive up and around, and so I'm standing on the future driveway. It's really pretty, just like right out there. Yes, look at that. Should have Beautiful. worn my sunglasses. In Red Ledges, it's a mountain home community with CCNRs, and so it's all stain grade materials on the exterior and um, a lot of stone. And so we decided to go with a board and batten that's stained this really dark color. And then we have reclaimed headers. So these are reclaimed timbers on the windows. And then I think that the grids add so much to the exterior of this home. And I think the stone is so pretty. It has this tonal texture and you'll see that we've carried that on the interior as well. Yeah, I love that. Let's go peek in there. Okay, I think we gotta go this way. Fresh cement, watch out. Yep. Do you wanna sign our name in there? <laughs> well, I kind of do, it's kind of tempting, but. I'm gonna sign Tyler so he gets busted. Hey, Sid. Here we are. Looking good. How are you feeling about the spec house now? This looks great. This is my first time here and it looks so good. So this is our spec home project that we've been talking about. And I have been trying to convince Sid for years. I know. To invest in a high-end spec home, which basically means we are building it and then we'll put it on the market at the end. It's a completely custom home and we're working with Tyler. So we all invested together to bring this vision to life. And my hope is that we can design a beautiful home that someone wants to make their own. You wanna buy it? You're so good at what you do. I wanna buy everything. Oh yeah, that's really nice of you. So it has been really matter. hesitant. There's always a risk in doing a spec if it doesn't sell then um, it becomes our new home and we live here, you know, so just do a good job. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have the leverage to keep, keep so. doing more in the yeah, future. Yeah, that, that was the sell. If it goes well, we'll continue to do more of these in the future. It's awesome because I get to try new things without the back and forth with our clients. I love our clients, but we're designing for their specific tastes and styles. So that's been fun, except for sometimes I can be difficult. And How's that builder Tyler to work knows. with though? Tyler's awesome, but he has to deal with my like last minute, like actually I need 20 new paint samples and also 20 new stain samples. So that's one thing we're going to, you're gonna just along for a site visit today. Do I get to help pick paint samples? Kind of, colors? probably. Not samples, you can have input. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna show you this, Levi. What do you think about my truck organization I've started? With my tools, it's always out of sight, out of mind. Now I'm like, huh? Do your kids ride back there? Oh, well, they do. <laughs> I've been trying to keep the knives out of play, but anyway. You walk in through the entry and we have this really beautiful vaulted ceiling that goes through living and dining. Last time I was here, I didn't love the stain color options, and so we're back for more. So you're trying to pick a stain color for the ceiling. Yes, let me show you what we're working with. So we have the floors, they've been installed. We went with this kind of warm brown color, so it feels really rich in this mountain home. And then we'll be doing like a natural yeah. oak finish on the island and the built-in. I'll put a roof over your head. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And right now, I'd like to see whatever I can do to get like closer to maybe our island color. Would you believe that that's a popular color? Stop it. <laughs> these are our original stain samples. You see these? And they look a little orange to me. So, orange, no you good. glad that you didn't pick those ones? Uh-huh. <laughs> <sighs> so dusty in here. Tyler needs to clean it up. Stop, I can't see when you can, I keep. It's gonna be like This white. one is out, it's, it's reading orange. These are nice. I'm still getting some of the orange and a little bit of like this kind of bluish gray wash. This one, it's looking gray, but I think it's just dusty. I can't really tell, so it's like I need to. Well, it's I like need someone was trying to wipe it off and then you just kept yelling at them. What do you think? I know which one I like. I'll you just do want this. a very complimentary color because yes. I feel like this one or this. Oh, uh, I'll leave this one. That one looks so orange. This one's orange? I know. Yeah, I agree with you. Okay. So when we were specifying the ceilings, we knew we were going to go with an alder and mm -hmm. we were concerned about the amount of variation that we'd get in the ceiling and how many knots. 
sure. and how we get that to like coordinate with all the other wood tones. And this is a family home, so we don't want something too naughty. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop it. <laughs> it's like medium uh, naughty. Can we do a more natural looking stain mm -hmm. on the ceiling that matches our island color? We did try it a little bit and the alder takes it a little bit different than the oak. I think now that we have the actual wood, because we yeah. just had alder samples and every tree is right. slightly different, different, right? We can try more natural try more light natural. color. I really want that Killowin natural color. Okay. Round three, yep. I know. I'll work on it. Awesome, thanks Tyler. You're welcome. Do you want to look at paint colors? Sure. So these are the colors that are for the walls in the main spaces. Warm, creamy whites. And then my plan is that we paint the windows and the trim a contrast, like a beige gray. But this one seems like, this seems like an easy winner to me. Because this one has a little bit of beige, a little gray. But then we need to pick the, the white. The natural tan looks awesome. I don't know on the... Futon looks pink to me. And my eye went here first. The ivory lace is really nice. This color. With this. I like that it feels really warm because I don't want it to feel bright white in here. It just needs to be a soft neutral. Shay McGee doing a creamy instead of just a white. That's, oh God. <laughs> and then in this kitchen, they framed out the hood. This is new. Ew. <laughs> Hold on. Better tie your shoes, you're tripping. All right. I look good. You look great. Okay, thanks. In this kitchen, the island is aligned with the fireplace because we wanted that really nice alignment. Because of that, we decided to shift the range over, but it meant that we had this extra space on this side of the kitchen. So we decided to lean into the asymmetry, but also give us a really strong focal point by framing it in with this wall here and then built-in furniture piece over here. Like what? Like a cabinet that's floor to ceiling, no countertop. It's just like all storage. Like a glass front? No glass front. Closed? Closed. Closed storage. Might be glass. Stay Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Find out. <laughs> I can't and then over on this side, the pantry like wraps around the back, so the cabinets will go like this. And you'll be able to see into the pantry from here. Okay. Okay. Yep. So the update, the main sink was originally over here. This is the sink. Mm -hmm. Now that we have all this, it's feeling like really close to the wall when you stand there. So this is as close as you can stand. Well, we have the sink here, but it's small, right? It's not like main sink. I think that really what happens is that this line right here feels like the end of the kitchen. Oh, I don't know. Move it? Well, is that super costly to move the plumbing like that? So if we did move it, I think what we would do is, if this is concrete, we would break it out, move it that way. Well, maybe it's fine. <laughs> it does feel a little tucked in back there where it is. For it to be the main sink. I, I don't think moving it would be that bad. So we flip-flopped. This is the prep sink. Love that. And then this sink will be centered on the island here, and it's the large sink. So they have to trench the concrete a little bit this way. We'll scooch and over a little bit. Curse my name, yeah. But that'll be awesome though. I'm glad that you did that. I think it makes the most sense. Primary suite. Look at how pretty these doors are. Not gonna be stained a different color or anything? These are supposed to be painted the color of the trim, but of course uh, I look at this and I'm like, well, maybe we should just stain them. I know, that. I don't think I can. <laughs> They're too pretty. We will have wood TNG going on the walls and then we'll have TNG on the ceiling and then that's the lines for the beads. Cool. And then in this bathroom, tile's been laid. Really pretty limestone floors. Then the tub goes here. And then look at this shower detail. I'm really excited about it. We found these 12 inch um, half round pencil liners are called. And then we created this like reeded border around Ooh, that's the cool. shower. So I noticed that here. right away. Here. Just excited to see what you've been working on. One thing I'm really excited about is the laundry room floor because it is 
so good. Look at wow. this. Wow. Isn't that pretty? We did this like really pretty tan limestone and um, I don't know if I it should step on this yeah. yet. It says don't walk on it. It says don't walk on it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> and then we did a Calcutta marble. So That's this amazing. is a cute little laundry room. And I kind of want to paint the cabinets like a green color now. I don't know if they were supposed to be gray, but I kind of want the green. With color. that flooring. So good. This is a new combo. Oh. Making it up right here. Yeah. Patent pending. <laughs> well, I didn't make up a tan and white checker, but <laughs> the mudroom is one of my favorite rooms in the house because awesome. we have this wall of windows right here and you get so much good light. And then we're doing a dark TNG on the ceiling. Ooh, cool. And then the cabinets go along here. And then there's a the garage. Hey, garage. And then these are two guest bedrooms. They get a lot of great views. Whoever the lucky, lucky person is that purchases this home. Yeah. <laughs> Could be us, you know. That's it. That's the end of the tour. Is Tyler in here? So we will be. Sh oh, Tyler, if you could get off your phone, we're going to wrap this up real quick and then. <laughs> uh, we are going to be sharing a lot more of this journey with you because we can. It's a local project. We've got Tyler. We're just all really excited to be here. So stay tuned because we have all of the like really aesthetic stuff is starting to happen. Cabinets and more paint and wallpaper, faucets, all of all of that good stuff coming. <laughs>